All right, thank you. It's Adopt a Pet Friday. Dr. Mark Permiano from the Anti Cruelty Society is here. So again, uh, good to see you again, Doctor. Likewise. And who do we have with us today? This is Chanel. She's a little three month old pity mix that is now on our adoption floor, I believe, as of yesterday evening. Hi. She's a little rampunctious, but she is. She's all yeah, she, what? How old you say? About three months, three yeah. Months. She just started getting her big kid teeth. Super excited, right? What a great yeah. field trip. Tell me a little bit about, uh, I guess you, I mean, characteristics are still being formed as we speak. Yeah, think, and right? um, she came to us through a little bit of a field service investigation. A neighbor had reported a dog in a backyard not being particularly well cared Careful. for, uh, tossed over a fence. Okay. And uh, she's rebounded really quickly. She's very trusting. She's very sweet. She has a great coat and her color. I love the patches on her. On her face, then she's a little oh, yeah, she's got, yeah, the too. beautiful little white spot right there. Yeah, yeah, she's, so let's, she's a great pup. Let's talk bigger picture. Obviously, the winter, uh, summer months are kind of we're segueing into fall. Should be, should people be concerned about you know flea and ticks when it's not necessarily 95 degrees out there? Oh, definitely. I think it's high in the spring and fall. It winds up being more important because you're more likely to be going on longer walks, spending more time outside as opposed to just being like, all right, we got to go to the bathroom and get inside. It's too hot for this. When you start getting September, October. Like, oh, I want to go walk through a forest preserve. I want to go up to, like, Michigan or Wisconsin yeah. to see the leaves changing. That's prime tick season for me. Flea and tick collars, absolutely positive. Flea and tick collars work. are good. Topical stuff's great. Topical. Uh, they make uh, certain ones that you can eat now, like Brevecto, where it covers for three months. Oh, no kidding. I definitely recommend doing it year-round because it's easier to maintain a habit than just be like, oh, this is a nine-month-of-the-year problem. And especially since the past couple winters, we haven't gotten a true hard winter. Uh -huh. That's usually what kills off the mosquitoes, kills off the ticks, kills off the fleas. We're starting to see more of a high uh, spike up in all of that because we're not getting those big hard winters to kill them off. So ones they chew, they're probably just like treats. Oh yeah, um, yeah, they, they taste like beef. I hope. What are the uh, what are the signs of a dog that, that has uh, you know it's getting sick from uh, Lyme disease? Uh, Lyme disease. You're going to start seeing. Couple different things. You'll see decreased energy level, the some lethargy, the mood will change, attitude in general. Yeah, you'll just see a little bit of anemia potentially, so maybe a little bit of paler gums. Like Physical nice manifestations? And big and pink. Uh, you can see kind of like a shifting leg, lameness, oh. achiness. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last question, we got to wrap this up. How long before being bit to actually they start showing signs? Uh, before they show signs, it can be a little while. Uh, the main thing is, and the tick can be on for a bit before you even notice because. Yeah. And then the nymphs get on, they're yeah, real tiny, it. and then you notice it winds up being a little bit. The biggest one I think I've ever seen is like, yay big. We appreciate you being here as always. Oh, and happy you to be are here. one beautiful little girl. Uh, check out the Anti Cruelty Society on North LaSalle. Go to the website for more information, anticruelty.org, or you can follow them on social media. Dr. Mark, always a pleasure seeing you. Likewise. Show her, little girl.